Welcome to the Copenhagen Soap Opera Tools uh, workshop. It's a frosty Sunday winter night and we are just uh, experimenting with, uh, with, with increasing the diameter of, of these uh, 24 meters of, of standard pipe. Um, these pipes here are actually intended as raw materials for the uh, metal spinning process that, uh, that results in the uh, contoured inner and outer liner for the BPM5 engines. Now, um, an easier way to make these uh, raw materials is to, to use a, a standard diameter pipe. It's, it's widely available, it's cheap, it's something you can easily get. But we can't find any standard pipes with uh, appropriate diameters for the inner liner and outer liner of the BPM5 engine. So we're basically left with two options. One is, uh, is, is, is redesigning the BPM5 engine so that it, 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 it uh, so the standard pipe diameters will work as, as raw materials. It's really, really annoying step if we had to do that. Uh, then uh, Christian Raun came up with the idea, well, maybe we could just take a standard pipe and then increase the diameter until we had the raw materials we really needed. So that's uh, what we've been uh, performing an experiment uh, just about a week ago where we took a small length of pipe and just uh, increased the diameter of that one. And that went so well that we decided to, uh, to, to, to procure uh, 24 meters of, of standard pipe and then we're doing the same operation to, uh, tonight. Um, the process is actually pretty simple. We have some, uh, some welded plugs in place on the uh, on the standard pipes. Now the other end, all of uh, all of those uh, plugs, they're completely closed. So we have a filling port here, that's a big one, and then we have a smaller port for uh, the pressurization. And what we do here is, it's very impromptu, but it works. We uh, fill the entire pipe with water so that there is as little or no air left in in the pipe. Then we uh, we plug both the filling port and then we. Uh, at this uh, pressurization mechanism we have. I think it's called a maximator. It's basically a uh, compressed air, standard 10 bar compressed air device, uh, which, increases a, uh, which increases the water pressure manifold inside the tube. Uh, it's pretty easy to see here. The water supply is this bottle here. We add some compressed air and that magnifies the pressure from the compressed air about 40 times, so this one can probably go to about 400 bars. Then we force the water into the pipe, and then we go for a, um, well, we exploit a, 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 an interesting property on these uh, pipes, which is a sort of deformation hardening. Uh, when we stretch the metal because of the water pressure, it becomes stronger. So it always expands at the at the weakest point where it has where it hasn't uh, expanded yet. So uh, we are lucky if the welding uh, holds up uh, the long stem welding, then we can simply force these uh, standard tubes up and increase their diameter. It worked last time, and we're working on this tonight, and it looks like it's it's really working. We are filling one tube, and then we are expanding uh, the first one, so we can keep the process going. And right now, it's expanded about two millimeters, pretty, pretty uniformly along the entire six meter length of the pipe. So once we have the correct diameter, we uh, we simply uh, remove the water and pour it out again. Then we uh, cut off a part of the tube along the, uh, along the, uh, the end stopper because it doesn't expand uniformly there. And then we can chop up the rest of the pipe into those uh, about 80 centimeter uh, pipe pieces we need as raw materials for the metal spinning process. So here we probably have somewhere around 10 BPM5 engines or more. We'll see how, how it goes.
We still have to complete all four tubes tonight. That's all. Det 43. Det er nu også for alle praktiske fotografier.